everyone. So I wanted to start this video out by profusely apologising to you guys for being gone for so long. Um, long story short, Josh and I took quite a long holiday to New York um, over the Christmas and New Year's period. Uh, we were gone for six weeks. We spent a very large portion of, um, of time before that uh, preparing to go away and kind of uh, getting everything ready to go away. And I pre-filmed a whole lot of videos that I was going to edit on the way over because we had like a 14 hour flight on the way over there. And I had tested out some new lighting because I filmed a couple of tutorials and things like that. And when I was on the aircraft and I was editing the videos, I really wasn't happy with what I'd filmed. So I decided that I wasn't going to use that footage and I brought all my camera equipment along and I was going to film while we were over there. Um, and about a week into the trip, Josh proposed. So he and I um, got engaged while we were over there in New York and YouTube ended up getting put on the back burner and I apologise because when we got back to Australia, uh, we went straight back into work and I started planning the wedding. Um, we're going to have a uh, destination wedding next year so I wanted to give our family and friends a lot of notice so I wanted to kind of start booking venues and start looking at, um, at getting everything done. So I've been spending the last few weeks uh, planning the wedding and I've just only now gotten the chance to sit down and film some more videos for you guys. But I promise I have a lot of videos planned for you. Um, I'm still going to do the house tour like I promised in our, um, our new apartment. Six months new apartment but you know <laughs> it is still quite new for us. And I've got some makeup inventory videos planned for you all and um, kind of what goals I'm setting for myself this year. And I've also got a whole video of the uh, things that I actually purchased while I was over in the US. But the first video that I have for you all is what is in my travel makeup bag. Now I I haven't unpacked this, I've deliberately left everything packed into the bag um, just so I can film this for you and kind of give you a little bit of insight into what I carry with me on a really long trip um, and what things that I found that I used and what things I found that I didn't use. The makeup bag that I've got is from a brand called Mosey, um, M-O-Z-I. Uh, you can get it at David Jones, um, but they also have their own website that they stock them on as well. I love this because... It's got a lot of pockets, so it's got a couple of pockets in there. Um, it's got a hanger as well, so you can hang it up while you're away. And it's also got a zip pocket on the back. It kind of holds everything that I would need in a six week period. If I'm only going for like a week, or if I'm going for a shorter period of time, I do actually carry something that's a little bit smaller than this. Um, this one is huge, and I do feel that I used most of the stuff that's in there. So what I'll do is I'll actually go through what I did use and most importantly what I didn't use while I was on this trip because every now and then you pack something that you think is going to be super helpful and it just kind of wastes space in your bag and we had a lot of baggage on the way back so I could have really done with the extra space. So what I'll do is I'll actually, um, I'll pop this one down on a table and I'll open it up and I'll film it from above so you guys can get a really good idea of what I actually had in there. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so this is my cosmetic bag. I use this one uh, when I am going on long trips, like I said. Um, I do have one that's smaller that carries a very small portion of what I've actually got in here um, but yeah let's get started so I'll just do kind of one pocket at a time I'll start out with this side and then move on to the makeup side so I first of all I picked up the um, the beauty blender uh, blotter artsy while I was over there I wanted to actually um, get something that I could absorb the oil uh, on my face without adding more powder because it was quite dry while we were over there because it was winter. So I picked those up and I quite like these. I um, I do feel that they do lift a little bit of makeup off, um, but not too, not too bad, uh, not to the point where it's extremely noticeable. So I do like that. I feel like it does a decent job of absorbing oil as well. I'll start out with my fragrances. Uh, the first one that I brought, which I love and, and wear with pretty much every fragrance that I own, is the Molecule 02. This is a really good fragrance for layering, and it comes in this little kind of travel flask. It's very stiff, so it doesn't come undone. But it's, um, it's just... Yeah, the regular molecule just in a smaller um, in a smaller container, and it's a really nice kind of nutty 
kind of um, subtle scent that layers really nicely with pretty much every fragrance. Uh, and they say that this is the um, this is the equivalent of uh, like a pheromone perfume. I, it has something like ambroxan or something like that in there that um, that apparently makes uh, makes you smell good to other people. So I um, I really like that. I like the scent of it, but I've heard that a few people can't actually smell it. Um, but I really like it. So. I wore that pretty much every day. I also took uh, two other perfumes. I took the uh, Gypsy Water uh, Rollerball from Byredo. This is a nice wintery scent. It's, um, it's quite sweet smelling. Um, and then I took uh, the Jo Malone Blackberry and Bay. Now, this is my fra favorite fragrance. However, the staying power on this is abysmal. It really doesn't stick around for very long, but it does smell amazing and really nice and light and fresh like blackberries. So I do really like that. Um, I just wish the staying power was better, but as you can see, I, I used a lot of it while I was over there. I also took my Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. Uh, this is my absolute favorite deodorant. Um, it's a really good antiperspirant. It's really nice and lightly scented. Um, do keep in mind though that this does leave white marks on um, on clothes, uh, on black clothes in particular, um, but otherwise it's a fantastic deodorant. I just really like the scent of it. Um, my cat knocked it off the bench, that's why it's all cracked, but I can deal with that. So two hair care items that I could not be without while I was over there was the Unite 7 Seconds Conditioner. Um, my hair is really tangly, so this is fantastic for detangling. It also helps to protect the hair as well. It is a UV and a heat protectant. I use that every time I wash my hair. And I also use the, uh, I took the Kerastase Nectar Thermique. This is a fantastic heat protectant. Um, I feel like it really smooths out my ends. This is uh, really good when you're using hot tools. So I use this whenever I used my um, my GHD flat iron or uh, or curling iron while I was over there because I took both. Um, yeah, fantastic, fantastic product. I um, I really like getting things in that I use on a regular basis in travel sizes. I also took a travel size of the Origins uh, Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. It's a really good um, face wash, but I find that I like the um, Kate Somerville one better, the Kate Somerville uh, Moisture Milk Cleanser. Um, it's fantastic, except it doesn't come in a travel size, so I took this one. And I also took the Origins Clear Improvement um, Mask. This is actually really good. I, it's comparable to the Glam Glow ones. It just doesn't have as much grit to it as they do. I used up the Glam Glow one while I was over there, um, but I did still use this a couple of times. I find that when I travel, my skin gets really quite dehydrated, but also quite congested. And I feel like the Glam Glow Mask works well as a... Um, as a exfoliant to get rid of the dehydration, but this one works better on congestion. I also took uh, my Verso uh, Retinol um, Eye and uh, Face Serum. I really like these products. I feel like it does a lot for my fine lines, um, but it also helps with my skin congestion as well because my skin does get quite congested. But you do need to make sure that you're using a good exfoliant with these to make sure that you're getting rid of any um, any uh, dry skin that the retinol produces. Now, if I were to do this again, I would probably take my um, Kate Somerville uh, Dermal Quench instead of taking this. I just felt that while I was away, I didn't need the retinol and I feel like the Dermal Quench does a really good job of um, rehydrating the skin uh, and it comes in a travel size, whereas these don't. And I also uh, have a full size of the Kate Somerville Nourish uh, moisturizer. It's a really plain moisturizer, but I love it over active serums. So I had that with me as well. And last in this section uh, is actually two hourglass, um, two hourglass, uh, these are the ambient lighting brushes. I have two of them because one I use for powder products and one I use for cream products. Uh, this brush actually works really, really well for foundation, just so you know. So they're exactly the same brush, um, but they're really nice and compact and flat for travel. Uh, and I really um, enjoy using these for both cream and powder products because they are synthetic. So I, I would do that again. Um, if I were to do anything differently, I would minimize the amount of brushes that I actually took in my um, other compartment, which I'll show you now. 
So in this top compartment here is where I keep my brushes. Um, so I took a few things here. Now, the one that I would minimize and not take again would be the NARS uh, powder brush. Um, this is the Eater brush. I, it sheds really badly and I would just take the hourglass ones the next time. Um, I'm, I'm not overly fond of the NARS brushes to be honest, but it is a really nice shape for um, for blush and everything, but I feel like the um, the hourglass can can do just as good a job. So I wouldn't take this one again if I were to um, if I were to do it over. But I would take all of these. So what have we got? Got a few in here. Um, so I took my Mac. Sorry, pardon that these are dirty. Um, I used them and then packed them up and brought them home, and I've still got to wash them. But I took my MAC 217. This is my favorite blending and application brush. I love this for all kinds of eye looks. So this I would 100% take again. Um, the MAC uh, 239, a great shader brush. Uh, you can also do really good crease work with this. So I really like that. The MAC 219, uh, this one is fantastic for doing, um, for doing like eyeliner, smudgy eyeliner and under the eyes. And then uh, the MAC 222, because I like to have a clean blending brush uh, just for blending out near the socket. Uh, whereas I can apply things with the 217 and blend it, I like to have a clean blending brush just to get a really nice diffused look. I also, um, while I was over there, I picked up the MAC 242 uh, and started using it pretty much straight away. Um, just to pack on a lot of color, this packs on a lot of color really really quickly and it looks really opaque um, so I really like this I think this is a synthetic brush so I really like that brush I needed something to pack on color better because uh, I took my Viseart eyeshadows and they really need a brush to pack everything on I also brought along the it cosmetics um, this is the number 15 the heavenly Lux magic eraser this is fantastic for under eye concealer or concealer all over the face i really really like the shape of this brush it works really really nicely um, it just gets in there and it buffs everything in it does absorb a little bit of um a little bit of product so keep that in mind um, but i really like that and I also took the NARS, um, I believe this is the eye brush in the uh, Kabuki range, but I took this, uh, I use this for highlight, which I wouldn't change. I, I really like this for highlighter. It's a really good size, like it's a really good shape and size. And then in this uh, pouch, I've just got some Sephora hair ties as well, uh, just some clear and some black. And I've also got some uh, makeup remover pads and some... Um, Q-tips, which I'll leave in there so I always have them. Now for this po pocket here, this is my makeup pocket. So this is where all of my makeup kind of gets dumped in there and I think for the most part I used most of it. So we'll go through everything. So I'll start out with face products. The first product that I brought along was actually the um, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. This is a fantastic concealer. Um, it's really, really opaque coverage. I and it's I feel like it has a good amount of grip but slip to it as well. Um, so I really like this. One thing that I noticed though is it can grab onto dry patches and. Like I said, if I were to do it again, I would bring a more hydrating serum because my skin was starting to get a little bit dried out by the end of the trip. Um, but yeah, I brought that. I'm happy with the choice that I made with just this concealer. I also brought a sample of the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. This is a really good all-rounder primer. Um, it's You can use it under most foundations and it gives a little bit of... Um, a little bit of oil control and it also fills the pores a tiny little bit but it just makes makeup go on really nicely so I brought that and I really like that but I also um, I also brought along the Smashbox photo finish uh, primer the one for pore minimizing I just find that sometimes I need something that will uh, smooth over my pores a little bit more in my t-zone so I like how they work in conjunction with each other 
I brought along the sample size of the By Terry Hyaluronic powder. I, um, I really like this powder. I use it uh, fairly frequently when I'm at home. Um, but it was starting to get a little bit dry on me. I, so I, I was using another powder that I had in here a little bit more. But look, it's so small, I would still bring it along for next time as well. Now, in terms of foundation, I only brought one along with me and it was the Hourglass Illusion Tinted Moisturiser. So this has the benefits of a tinted moisturiser with really, really good coverage. So I really, really love this. Um, I feel like I can get sheer coverage or, um, or more medium to full coverage with this and a, it suits a whole manner of uh, different situations because we spent time in New York and Los Angeles. I feel like this doesn't get too shiny when it's hot, but it suits my skin really well when it's cold as well and quite dehydrated so i'm really happy with the choice i made to bring this um but while i was over there i did pick up uh two makeup forever hd foundation sticks these aren't out in australia yet as far as i know um and if they are they're only at sephora so sephora doesn't exist in canberra yet and i'm not overly fond of sephora in australia but yeah i i got these at sephora in the us which is so much better than the Sephora here in Australia. But this is actually a really nice coverage uh, foundation stick. Uh, it is quite emollient, so it is quite oily. You do need to set it. Um, and I don't see this lasting on somebody who has really, really, really oily skin, but it also grabs on dry patches as well. So it is a little difficult to work with, but it is a beautiful foundation uh, and it photographs really well. Um, now I got two different colors. I got the um, 117 and the 125. Another face product that I brought, I, I brought along the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Edit. This came out over Christmas and I happened to pick it up uh, just before I left. Now the colors in here are fantastic. Um, it's got the dim light. Uh, this I think is the iridescent light. And this one is the diffused light. You've got the mood exposure, the luminous flush, and this is the luminous um, bronzer. This is my new favorite bronzer, by the way. I have the full size and I have the full size at home. Um, and I wanted to take a bronzer along with me and it happened to be in this palette. So my, my favorite items are from the Hourglass like ambient collection are the diffused, the dim, the luminous, and the luminous bronze. So, I found that buying this, uh, which had most of my favorites in there, I could just use and um, and have while I was over there. So I'll carry this from now on when I'm traveling. I have all of the colors that are in here except for the mood exposure, which surprisingly I actually really loved. And I don't have the uh, iridescent light. I like the incandescent one better, um, but either way, it still works as a highlighter. So really, really great palette. I really enjoyed having that with me. Uh, the blush palette and the um, the lighting wardrobe as well. Uh, I I feel that they're really good to um, to have with you for travel as well if you can't pick that one up. So that palette actually had all of my blush and um, and face powder products uh, completely covered. I didn't take any more blushes along, uh, but I did um, purchase at the airport when I was heading out. The, um, the Becca Opal uh, highlighting gift set, it's got the powder and the highlighter. Opal is my favorite and I knew I was going to be picking this up so I didn't actually pack Opal in there. Um, I just really love the color of this, it's really nice and shiny and just, it's just a beautiful highlight. It just it picks, up, picks up a lot of, um, a lot of light. So I love that and I love the option that you've got the cream and the powder as well. The reason that I wanted to pick this set up in particular was because I really really love the um, the liquid uh, illuminators from Becca but the bottle is huge so this uh, would do me for, for a trip. I, I, I really like this size and it comes with a little wand as well rather than being in a pump pack. For eyes I suppose I Took along two uh, Visa Vizia palettes. This is the Matte uh, Basics palette, and this is the Sultry Muse. And uh, it's just kind of they're really warm colors. I wear mostly warm warm colors on my eyes, um, and I feel like 
b between having the mattes and the shimmers, it gave me a lot of uh, options for eye looks. Uh, I didn't really need much more than this. Um, the one thing that I did wish is that the uh, shimmers in this were a bit more kind of gilded, uh, like they ha had a bit more opacity, but by using the, um, the MAC uh, 242 brush, like that really quite um, dense paddle brush, I was able to get them quite opaque. So I really like these, I would take these again. Uh, they're really nice and compact, they fit well into the bag, and they give you a lot of options. It's just got really good basic colours in there. I also just grabbed a couple of the little pigment um, pigment samples while I was over there uh, from MAC just because I wanted something a little bit more shiny for New Year's Eve uh, so I picked up melon and vanilla and they're both fantastic colors I, I use these on a regular basis at home these colors so I'll just have those for my, my travel set I also uh, took with me um, which I didn't actually end up using. I love these shadows and I don't know why I didn't use them. Um, this is the uh, Bare Minerals, uh, the soundtrack. I thought that I would use these colors while I was over there. Um, they're just gorgeous, gorgeous colors and I really should have done something with them. I had planned on filming videos, so I thought that I would use colors like this but didn't end up uh, using them. Um, so yeah, I probably could have left these behind. Uh, that said, if I had had more time to film videos, I would have used it. So I, again, if you have those palettes and you're not planning on filming videos when you travel, those palettes are enough to get you through. You don't need to bring additional eyeshadows, but I, um, I did bring those I, because I thought that I would be filming. Um, same reason I brought these. This is the Scenic Root from uh, Bare Minerals. Bare Mineral shadows are actually my favorite formulation ever. They are the most beautiful, beautiful, easily blendable, highly, highly pigmented shadows. I, I just adore them. Um, if I could have these in one big palette the way that I had the Viseart ones, I would. Um, but that's not really an option. So <laughs> yeah, they're gorgeous shadows, um, but again, I, I didn't necessarily need them while I was over there. And I also brought the top shelf, which this, uh, this duo I did actually use while I was over there. This is my favorite duo from Bare Minerals. Um, beautiful colors, really, really nice and highly pigmented. I've done a tutorial with these before, but yeah, I did use this, so I would bring this along. My eyebrow pencil, I'm using the Hourglass uh, Arch Brow Pencil. Um, this one's just the one that has the kind of slanted tip on it. Um, this is in Warm Brunette. My hair color is quite a warm hair color, so I use one that's quite warm. So I use that every day. I can't do without filling in my brows. That's the only brow product that I brought along though. I also brought uh, the NARS Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner. This is the only eyeliner that I brought along. This is in Via Venetia, uh, just a plain black. I uh, only eyeliner that I used, only eyeliner, eyeliner that I needed, so I would use that again. I brought along the Urban Decay uh, Anti-Aging anti Eyeshadow Primer. Again, these sample sizes are fantastic. I got this for free and I used it every time I did my eyes. I, I can't actually do without an eye primer, so this worked quite well. But again, like a sample of the Too Faced Shadow Insurance or a sample of the NARS uh, primer would have done just as well. So I'm not picky on which primer that I bring along, but I have to bring one. I also brought along a sample of the uh, Dior Show Iconic Overcurl Mascara. Um, this had dried up just a little bit too much, so it wasn't really usable, so I kept it in there to let you know that. Check your mascara samples before you actually leave, because I didn't, and it was completely useless to me. So I purchased the, um, the Dior Show mascara while I was over there. The regular Dior Show with the huge big brush. So that worked quite nicely. This kind of can be classified as skincare. This is just the uh, by Terry Balm de Rose. This is a little sample size that I got uh, through my Mecca Beauty Loop boxes. Um, I use this as my lip balm pretty much every night. So I, I have to have a lip balm with me. Um, 
This one works well as a balm for dry patches on the skin as well, um, if you can get over the smell for your face, because uh, it is really quite rosy. Um, but yeah, this worked really nicely. I would take that along with me again. These are all now lip products. Okay, so I took three lip pencils and I probably didn't need to take three. Um, I took uh, Whirl, I took Edge to Edge and I took Saw. I probably could have gotten away with just Whirl and Edge to Edge and left uh, Saw at home or vice versa. Edge to Edge and Saw are very, very similar colours. Edge to Edge is just a little bit uh, lighter. So either way, I, I probably could have gotten away with two rather than three. And although I probably used them, I probably could have gotten away with either or. Um, Whirl though is my absolute favourite, it's just a fantastic colour. My other favourite product that I, t I took along with me was my um, Pericone No Lipstick Lipstick. This is just a really nice kind of natural uh, lipstick colour. I wear this pretty much every day to work. Um, this is a really, really nice colour and for a nice natural flush. I also took along two uh, Stila Stay All Day uh, liquid lipsticks. Um, these came in a Christmas set. I, one is Beso. Uh, this one I used uh, for quite uh, for a couple of occasions when we were going out. It's just a nice basic red lip. I would take that with me again. This one is Rico. Um, I don't actually think that I used this while we were over there. I love this kind of colour on me. I just didn't use it. So I if I thought that I would have an occasion where I wouldn't be wearing a red lip and I would be wearing this instead, I would bring it again, but yeah, I didn't use it that time, so keep that in mind. The next two items that I got, I brought along were the um, YSL tint and oils. I really like these because they add a nice sheen to the lips and they're also quite moisturizing. Well, I felt they were as well. And they were no fuss because they, they put a stain on the lips and they just stay there. Um, I think this is the peach one and this is the gold. So really nice kind of natural stains for the lips. So I, I like those. I used them quite often while I was over there. And last but not least, I brought along one MAC lipstick and I purchased another one while I was over there. I brought along a MAC Kinda Sexy, which is a nice kind of warm, pinky, like lip color. And I brought, and I bought a MAC Whirl, which I used a couple of times. It is quite dark. It's not the same color as the lip pencil, but it is a nice color. It's a nice darker nude color. Um, but yeah, I was really happy with these two products. Um, and as you've probably figured, I anything that I felt that I was missing while I was over there, I was able to purchase. So uh, what, what you take, unless you're going somewhere where there aren't a, a lot of stores, which you're probably not wearing makeup anyway, um, you can still buy things if you need to. And look, I, I went over there knowing that I would probably purchase a couple of um, cosmetic items and they were all things that I didn't already have. So... Yeah, I was really, I was really happy with the amount of things that I actually took with me, um, and that's, and that's everything. The bag is a really fantastic size uh, for taking things with you, and I feel that the um, amount of product that I brought along was a perfect amount of product, with the exception of maybe two or three things. I felt that I enjoyed using everything while I was there. Um, like I said, there's a couple of products I probably could have done without, like, um, would you say one of the lip pencils, um, the NARS brush, because I had the hourglass one, um, and the mascara sample. I probably should have just um, looked at that a little bit closer before I left. And two of three of the Bare Mineral Shadows. And I think that that's pretty much it. I, yeah, I could have gotten I could have gotten away with not having these there, except everything else I would have I would have still taken with me or purchased while I was over there still. So, yeah, really really happy with um with the way that I packed this time. In all honesty, because I was gone for so long, I was likely to use everything that I had in my bag anyway. Um, but yeah, just a couple of things that I I could have done without while I was over there. So I hope you guys liked that. 
I've I've said this before. I do I do travel quite a bit. Um, I do carry a little bit more makeup than the regular person. I only because I did I did actually intend to film while I was over there. Um, so there were a few things in there that I had intended to use, and then I because of the engagement and everything, I kind of just decided that I wasn't going to use them. But yeah, I uh, I hope you guys found this useful. I always love these kinds of videos. I I just find them really handy, especially from um, from a travel point of view because I like to travel so much. So I always find these kinds of videos really handy to see what people are using and most importantly what people are not using when they go away. So yeah, I hope you guys like this and I'll talk to you all later. Bye!